while he's used a single ability, his mana pool says differently. Uh, Pie Cap, this is going to break. Effigy, Fissure, it's going to hit over on Sing Sing this time around for the Nightmare and Ember Spirit means he never got the Searing Chains off and now the damage has been stolen by Sing Sing. This is not a great thing for, uh, well, now for Bane or for the Earthshaker as he just turns the damage. Marana. He can't go for Sol Ring and spam March on camps. They're not stacked to begin with. Sing Sing, oh, they, they got the Syrian Chain off this time around. Fissure and Arrow in combination. And that That's range disgusting. initiation. It was a TD rune too, which Ember Spirit was holding on to. So it's pure damage. I think I'm okay with pure damage. Bottom lane. Ravage from EGM gonna be committed. Bulba's gonna come in too with a Frost Blast. Cheshire Cat has to use the raw on a different target. Now Moon's gonna be picking up Bulba, but now he's nightmare up too. EGM's like, oh, I, I, I kinda want to keep going on this one, but Koip is gonna come in. Oh, the Anchor Smash, it does affect Moon. He's backing into the corner, but now in comes M the Spirit. He might have to go here on Pie Cat. Moon, his stick charges to keep him alive up against Pie Cat. Watch out, Slow is coming over to help out his teammate. And Moon, he will survive. It's a three for nothing on the but I think they just used two smoke charges. Either way, Jake falls in a little bit of trouble up on the up on the top river. There are four heroes around him. He leaps up, but he has level six, but that will not save him. A brain set from Bane was enough to get the kill. I think you're right, because I haven't seen Team Tinky use a smoke before, and they're on cooldown in the shop. I can't tell. Sentry ward from him drops as quickly as he possibly can. But, uh, well, he runs into the waiting arms of the Ember Spirit. X Man, they wouldn't have enough space unless they start taking towers. Martin Machine's gonna give a little bit of cover fire here for Koipa. FNG looking for a fissure, and he's able to catch out too, including EGM locked into the green line. Koipa's gonna die from the Plasma Field coming back in again. Maybe he doesn't. Roar over on Bulba. I still haven't seen the Team Frost go just yet. FNG, Echo Sam, you'll never see that Team Frost go. Same thing being focused. The Ravage will go as well. That gets the kill over on the Earthshaker from the Meg Tower, trying to keep him alive and I'll be successful. It's a double kill coming in as well for the Amber Spirit who finished the job. That's also a catch. Pie Cat. They can see him up the hill. Moon's looking to go for the kill here and uh, Pie Cat, okay, the wall is down the on, the, on the bottom. But now FNG comes in. EGM, no Ravage available. The Nightmare's going to keep Moon out of the play for the moment. But one, two attacks, and the Spirit jump in there. Dark One's going to go to town. There's on Siri Chains and Koi for an EGM with a quick slide of miss. The Martian Machine's not making it easy. The Lich only is now finally going to do some work. Moon trying to be healed up. Just a little bit further up. Looks like they killed off uh, Sing Sing. Rockets, FNG will die of this. So Koi for able to get some some kind of collateral kills. Then, you know, fair enough, but like you said, Pipe on the Beastmaster, that was a great pickup. Um, EGM FNG? Dead. Uh, arrow. EGM stop for an anchor smash! <laughs> He's gonna wait a moment, Starfall's gonna be in range, and they even let off an urn charge just to ensure it. While on bottom lane, Moon's getting feet scripted up. That's a 4 for 0 Viper, but then again, that's a 4 for 0 Viper. The brain set from Pine Cap, the Nightmare to follow up, it actually means the Rockets will 100% hit. And they get a nice injection of money into Mid. Tinker while in middle lane. Yeah, you're right, Sing Sing. He is not a happy Razor. Starfall down. He might get one plus to field off. No, can't even get that. A one for seven. So he's capable of melting down a couple of towers here and there in order to uh, to make the most out of the space that Tinker can make. FNG, he caught Koifer. And Koifer doesn't have a re -up. Oh, he's dead. He's dead. Echo Slam, another totem stomp. Soloed by the Earthshaker. You know that Veil of Discord? Well, we got an uh, Ember Spirit with the double Battle Fury now fully completed. Cheshire Cat is running down south too, and that's a, that's a, actually a, a finished Tinker TP in. Blink. There's no blink over on Cheshire Cat. The horse giving him the vision, but then again, he lost the horse. Koifa, get out of here. Oh, they got him. They finally got him. The Ravage from EGM in the Fiend Scrum. Picked up the Ember Spirit for the Tinker. I'm always wondering if that's... I'm really surprised though, Cheshire Cat is building into an Agonist before getting the Blink Dagger. Hello Tom, FNG, a double Echo Slam, a follow-up son of the Tidehunter. And now we've got a pipe standing out like this. Pygat, go for it. Fiend Script, do it. Arrow's gonna come on the way in, but it's all gonna be too late, because Sixty's gonna tank it up. He's got the Eye of the Storm going. Did somebody bring the tank? Yes, they do. It's a gem over on EGM. The Ravage should be committed to, so they turn one into two. While well, FNG is... Okay, yes, 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 no! The Nightmare, stopping it, the fish is gonna go right now, and FNG, he's gonna melt! Three heroes lost, the opening is able to kill him off with magical damage during that period. Now, the Tidehunter, he's got Blink Dagger up, no Ravage, however, and that's a long way in for the Ember, he's gonna get a kill here on Pycat. 
We've got wait for those buybacks, but only the Tide Hunter is the easy only man with the buyback right now. And Moonlight Shadow is not giving any protection to Unseen for Tier 3 Tower. Fortification will be used to keep that vision up. And Sing Sing, the Echo Slam, while it's not being used, it's still on cooldown, that's the reason why. And wow, Bomba caught by the extra fissure. The damage will be enough, but let's just will bounce down and off to the Hawk. But there's three euros on the sideline. Koifus Martin Machines is not making this easy for them at all. And then the Spirit, Slider Fist, you got a chain on EGM. The arrows on the way. EGM is Ravage available. He could technically kill off FNG as he attack. keeps armor toggling, but they've lost a lot of cracks. They're even dragging the creep away from them. They don't have enough ultimates. They need at least another three. Yeah. And GG. There it is, Revolver. Mr. Dagon went to go for one last go. go. Yes. The Ravage already. One last. Hurrah! One, one hero! Uh, EGM is down, they don't even get a kill off one hero, man. Oh, wait, do they? FNG! The Fiend script wasn't cancelled! The Raw, did you see Cat had that that entire time? I think he did. Uh, <laughs> just, just let the ES die. He's had enough fun this game. Well, that's only game number one, man. We have a full best of three coming your way, so Power Rangers one game up. Now, uh, our semi-final from early tonight also went to three games, so we'll see if we the same tonight and uh, if uh, team tinker will hit back in game number two uh, or if power rangers can take out a 2-0 victory stay tuned and we'll find out together